Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are talking about how to clean your plants. In one of my previous care videos for alocasia, I mentioned it's important to clean your plants often. I've also cleaned my plants in videos before, in like care for your plants with me videos. And I always get asked, what is the mixture you use? How do you clean your plants? So I'm going to walk you through how I clean my plants and just kind of some other pointers and tips that I've heard from other people that I don't necessarily use. I'd like to pause this video real quick to thank the sponsor of today's video. Not unfamiliar to you is Ana Luisa Jewelry. Ana Luisa Jewelry is a sustainable carbon neutral company that makes absolutely gorgeous jewelry. Honestly, not new to you guys if, you're, if you've are if you been here a while. I've been sponsored by them several times now. And currently they are having a Mother's Day sale. So right now, everything on their shop is 15% off. For many, Mother's Jewelry is an awesome gift. And if jewelry works for your mom, I highly recommend Ana Luisa Jewelry. All of their jewelry starts at $39, super affordable for most people and such high quality. So let's talk about the pieces that I am wearing and the pieces that I got for this video. So first, let's talk about the Crescent Moon Huggy Earrings. So they are called the Celeste. I have actually already had a pair of this specific earring and I love them so much. And then the cats stole them. Well stole one of them. So currently, and I'll show you a clip right here, but currently I only have the star. The moon was stolen. So I got a new pair and now I can mix and match. So not only do I have the star and the moon, but I can wear two stars. So I think that that's really cool. I can also pair the moon with the sun earring that I've gotten in the past. Um, or really any of the other earrings, they pair really well and you can mix and match if you have multiple pairs. This specific pair starts at $75, but with the current sale running, $63.75. The next thing I got is another pair of earrings. You know, sorry, Simba's playing with the window. You guys know that I love earrings. Almost every earring on my ear is an Ana Luisa earring. And so the next pair I am currently wearing and they are the She Said Yes earrings. They look kind of like um, a very minimal, basic wedding ring, but a hoop earring. And I love the minimal look of them. And they start at $59 with today's sale, $50.15. I chose these ones just because I like the look. And honestly, I own most of Ana Luisa's hoop earrings, or at least a good chunk, the ones that I know I would wear. And this was just another one on my list. And then finally, I have this necklace. This is the Sun necklace. I love kind of the weird vibe of this one. Um, I really love nature focused jewelry and what they look like. Um, so I thought this one was so cool. And this one starts at $75, currently is on sale for 50. So jump on. And so again, Ana Luisa is currently offering 15% off for their Mother's Day sale starting April 12th, which has passed. So jump on their sale as soon as possible. The last day for standard shipping to arrive by Mother's Day in the U.S. is May 5th and internationally is May 5th. All of the information for Ana Luisa will be in the description down below. The list of things that I use. So I use warm water and I've put it in this bowl. I use um, pure Castile soap, Castile, Castile, whatever, soap. And so I've got some right here. Uh, rubbing alcohol, just the normal stuff that you find at the grocery store. I've got some neem extract, a makeup brush that I'm no longer using. And then I'm going to also use a dropper to help with the neem. So this is what I use. Uh, not everybody loves the idea of using neem. You don't have to use neem. You can add lemon juice for shine. I don't have any lemon juice and I don't care about shine. So I don't add that to mine. I've also heard of people using hydrogen peroxide. Um, I use that as something I put in the soil, not on my plants, but I've heard people use that in place of the rubbing alcohol. 
First, let's talk about why you would clean your plants. So the primary reason I clean my plants is to get rid of any dust buildup. My apartment's very dusty, it's very enclosed. And the second is pest prevention. I definitely recommend cleaning your plants more often than I do to help with pest prevention, but I do find the more frequently I keep up on actually cleaning my plants, particularly the pest prone ones, the less of a problem the pests become. And I do notice a difference when I stop or kind of fall behind on the cleaning to the amount of pests that arrive. Now let's talk about mixing. So I don't keep exacts. I'm going to eyeball it, kind of roughhouse it, and I do this every time, and I've never had a problem with it. So you can come up with an exact formula that works for you or kind of eyeball it with me. But this, um, I mean, you can compare it with my hands. This is just a dish of warm water and it's still pretty warm. Um, not hot, not cold, roomish temperature to warm water. And then the first thing I add is soap. Again, these aren't really in any specific order. It's just the easiest I find to add. And just so you know, the dish is like three quarters the way fill. I'm going to put just, uh, Perfect, a couple drops of the soap in. I don't want it to get sudsy, I just want the soap to be in there. And the reason I use this soap is because it's got less harsh chemicals in it than like your dish soap. And also it works to kill soft body pests. I'm not 100% sure on hard body pests, but I struggle most with soft body pests. So this does wonders. You don't wanna to use too much and clog up your plant or add a film to it or anything like that. And then next is rubbing alcohol. I go no more than 50-50, um, generally speaking, but I'm essentially just going to fill the rest of the dish with rubbing alcohol. There we go. The dish is now almost all the way full and has become a little bit cloudy and smelly like alcohol. Next is neem. I do not always use neem. Um, I find that neem can be kind of sticky and make things kind of weird. So really small amounts of neem. This is an extract that calls for, I believe, two to three tablespoons per gallon. I'm just going to put a little bit from a dropper. I've pulled up, I don't know if you can see that, this much with my dropper. I'm essentially just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops in. And then I'm actually going to stir with this. I don't mind if a little bit more neem gets in there, um, but I'm going to just stir everything up. And you'll see that the neem that I didn't use is still in there. And that's totally fine. So now my mixture is all mixed up. And now I use this makeup brush. I also have another one rolling around somewhere that I prefer to this one. This one I just recently cleaned um, and it's a little bit shorter in the bristles. Um, so I do prefer a different brush, but I can't find it. So we're gonna use this one. You can also use microfiber cloths. I find it just is so much easier to use this. If I use a microfiber cloth, I find myself being a little bit too rough because the cloth is so large, it's like smacking leaves and sometimes the plants I'm working with are a little bit more sensitive. Um, so if I'm smacking it around, it's not my favorite. This, I feel like I just have way more control when I use a brush versus a cloth. So I'm gonna grab a plant. Going to be standing up. Hopefully my camera won't be zooming in and out way too much. I know it gets kind of weird with plants and there's nothing I can do about that right now. Um, but this is my Buddhist palm alocasia, and I find that my alocasia get pests so badly compared to my others. In fact, I want to show you this one because it's in desperate need of a cleaning. My pest problem is absolutely horrific, and it's not something to be proud of. I don't know if it's even... Anyways, covered in spider mites, so we're going to clean it off. This does get kind of messy, so if you prefer to put a towel down, you can. I'm not going to bother because I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to dip my brush in the water, get it nice and wet, and take it and just kind of wipe all over the top of the leaf. Now I am seeing, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm collecting a ton of dust on my brush, so I do want to rinse my brush off frequently. 
The Buddhist palm does have a little bit more ridges than some of my other plants, so this one I am spending a little bit more time on, particularly because it does have a bit of a pest problem. So I've done the front, I'm now going to do the back just as well. Awesome. And now I'm actually going to do the stems of this plant because I can see bugs on the stems. If you're trying to make this a little bit easier, maybe you don't have to do the stems, but I do have a bit of an intense infestation, so I'm going hard. Now I did that for one leaf, I'm going to now repeat for all of them. Alright, this guy has been cleaned and essentially what I'm going to do is just leave him be. I'm going to leave him be to dry on his own for a little bit. Next time I water him, I will water him in the shower so that I can give him a thorough rinse down in case that this left any kind of films on his leaves. I'm also, this plant I don't put in direct sunlight, but I'm not going to put him in direct sunlight because the mixture might amplify the sun rays. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm not willing to burn my leaves over it. Um, so I'm going to put him back where he belongs out of the sun and grab another plant. If this video has inspired you to clean your plants and you want to clean with me, go ahead, go get your mixture if you have the stuff at home or whatever it is that you prefer. And let's clean our plants together. I'm going to just clean a couple while I have this mixture made up. Something that I do want to note though, before I continue cleaning, is that I do not use this mixture on like more velvety plants. So for example, this guy right here is pretty velvety. I will only use the mixture on the back side of the leaf, which is not velvety. I don't know what it would do to a velvety leaf. I don't want to find out. You're welcome to test this on your plants if you want, but I can't say that it won't ruin the look of the plant. So for those plants, I use it only on the backside. Now this particular guy is struggling like my alocasia usually do in the winter. And so I'm hoping that by cleaning him off nice and good, and then giving him a nice feeding in his next watering, he will come back thriving. He usually does. This is a game I play with all of my alocasia in the winter where I live, is whether or not they're going to lose all of their leaves and struggle due to how dry and bug infested my apartment becomes in the winter. Ooh, another thing I should probably add while I do this is that the smell of this mixture is very strong. Neem and rubbing alcohol have very strong scents. So this is not something I recommend you do if you have um, a headache or are very sensitive to smells, you might want to add less um, of each of the contents or maybe do a spray mixture instead of a wiping mixture. It's better than nothing if you just spray the plant down pretty thoroughly and then leave them in the tub for a bit.
I should also add that the makeup brush shouldn't be too harsh or too soft. Get something that's kind of in the middle. If it's too harsh, you could scrape the leaves, especially more sensitive plants. And if it's too soft, it won't be able to get into all of the, the nooks and crannies of the plant and scrape out any plants or dust in there. So you wanna find something kind of in the middle. If you find your plants are getting scratched, then go with something softer. If you find that it doesn't seem like they're getting cleaned, go with something just a little bit more uh, rough. The brush that I use is a mineral powder foundation brush. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you found this useful. And if you have another method for cleaning your plants, I would love to welcome other ideas. This is what works for me. It's not necessarily what works for you. And so let me know in the comments down below what you do if you do something different. Again, just a reminder, Anna Luisa is offering 15% off for Mother's Day starting April 12th, which is already passed, so get on that. The information again is in the bio down below. If you like houseplant content, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I post videos, and I will see you next time. Yes, hoop earrings. Raja, you don't fit and you're not welcome. No, hey, look at me, no. No, you can't go up there, you break stuff. No, look at me, you break stuff. Ow, 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 no nails, you know. Ready? Go get it.